Okay, where do I begin? I tried my hand at digital sculpting and uh, it seemed to be working out okay so far. In this video I will show you my first two projects. Uh, first one is made in Sculpt GL with a keyboard and mouse and uh, for the second one I got my hands on ZBrush and the graphics tablet. But it all started from a PlayStation 4 game called Dreams. Media Molecule is known for adding level designers to their games, but what they did here is more like a game engine with tools for creating assets from scratch. I started from just making some rocks, typical, but you got to start somewhere. I also tried rendering them, but it didn't come out very well. This isn't like painting miniatures, you add lighting later, you don't paint it on objects. Then I tried making trees. What you're supposed to do here is uh, create parts which are then going to be used as building blocks to make more complicated things. And uh, here we have the assets which that tree was made from. These parts can be arranged differently to make a whole bunch of different trees. The parts can also be resized, multiplied and uh, flipped horizontally or vertically to add variety. And uh, here's another tree I made from these bits. This tree also has like um, a fairy or a dryad sitting on it. I did try making clothes for her, honest. I also tried adding a bit of movement but that didn't work either. Animating things is hard in this game, and programming is even harder. Then I tried making architecture, made a whole bunch of these wooden planks. Um, this was just a first rough attempt. I tried doing it again more neatly this time, but it also came out quite a bit more bland. Rough things tend to look a bit better in dreams when finished things. And uh, that is everything I've done in dreams. Sorry to say, but I will not be doing any more of it. In fact, I already got rid of this game, traded it in. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm really happy I bought this. If I didn't get this game, I wouldn't be digitally sculpting now. I used to think that digital sculpting was something out of this world, and uh, if I could produce something using DualShock controller, surely keyboard and mouse would be a bit more intuitive. And uh, I'm uh, more interested in producing sculpture for 3D printing rather than uh, just making digital assets for games. Also, Dreams does have a very high learning curve. Believe it or not, but something like ZBrush is actually much easier to learn and probably much better investment of time as well. I was interested in ZBrush for a long time but it did require investment. For starters, a good PC that could actually run it. And uh, I didn't even know if I'll be any good at it. So I was a little reluctant spending a lot of money at that point. I looked at some free programs and uh, discovered Sculpt GL. It's a free browser-based 3D sculpting program. I just started messing with it. I wasn't trying to design anything in particularly, but it was working. And uh, on my first 
ago I created this character's face. I also sculpted this Jester's cap for him, and uh, that was my first two hours of messing with sculpt gel. I wasn't planning making the rest of his body at this point. I was just trying out the tools, but it did come out quite a bit better than I expected, and it was a pity to waste, so I thought maybe later I might turn it into a bust or something. Next, I tried making a full figure, and I created this abomination. This was going to be a fantasy dwarf character, but I wanted to make the pose more interesting, so I got rid of the symmetry. Turns out you can't mirror objects at all in SculptGL. Obviously, for my first attempt, at doing a full figure I should have done something a bit more symmetric, but I was euphoric after my initial success, and uh, this was the first reality check for me. I started from beginning, and thought maybe this time I should do this in parts, and uh, then just put them together. I started from the head again, and uh, this is what came out. He doesn't look very happy. Then I made this. This red-like creature is basically the dwarf's head you just seen. Only it's been stretched using drag and move tools. I was just having a little bit of fun here. I got no plans for this. After this I thought maybe I should actually finish the jester. I sculpted his torso, and then started sculpting the arms, and then I wasn't sure what to do with the arms. Originally I was gonna give him a musical instrument, but that didn't work, so I thought why not glove puppets, that way I should be able to keep his arms almost symmetrical. One of them was going to be a princess. And for second one I thought maybe a knight. Had a really hard time making the armor because sculpt GL isn't very good for making hard surface objects. Changed it into a dragon, which was probably a better choice. This added drama to the scene. The princess was made to look like she's absolutely terrified. The princess's crown is the only thing that isn't actually made in Sculpt GL. It was made in Tinkercad, which is another browser-based 3D modeling tool. Everything else was made in Sculpt GL. All that was left was to do his legs. I decided to make him crouching, and uh, that is my first finished work. I'm going to post a link in the description to Sculpt GL website. Anyone who's curious about 3D sculpting should give this a go. Yes, I know we have a ZBrush Lite now, which is free, but Sculpt GL will work on almost any computer. It doesn't even need to be installed, it's browser based. So technically, this was done in Google Chrome on a 10 years old PC, which cost 200 something pounds at the time, with a keyboard and mouse. Yes, with Sculpt GL, you can get away using keyboard and mouse. If you tried that with ZBrush, you wouldn't get very far. Why didn't I discover this years ago? I could have been doing this professionally by now. You should try it too. It requires no investment, and you never know, you could be really good at it. So, my first project was basically three characters in one, even if two of them were just puppets. I didn't want to lower the bar now, so for my second project I decided to make a kick-ass sci-fi bike, with not one, but two riders. I used this illustration for reference, 
it's for a game called Resolution. Not sure what's happening with this game. You can still buy the miniatures, but nothing new was released for a very, very long time. This is probably something they never got around releasing. Unfortunately, this image is not something that can easily be turned 3D. It's not a proper concept, just a piece of interior art. But a bike with a driver and a gunner is just too cool, so I'll have to work with this. At this point, I got my hands on a new computer, graphics tablet, and I downloaded 30-day demo of ZBrush. And uh, this is how it came out. I'm really happy with it, but I did have to take some liberties. On the illustration, the wheels looked like they're spinning really fast, so I had to make things up. They still look like they're spinning, but they're a bit more defined. The engine was partly obscured by guy's legs, so it wasn't very clear what's going on there. So I had to make things up there as well. I did have a number of uh, images of bikes for a reference. There were some things which I changed on purpose as well. I didn't like how the guy's shoes looked, so I used a different design. And also, I tried making a tie, but it wasn't coming out very well, so in the end I just got rid of it. On the illustration, it wasn't at all clear what kind of guns the girl fired. You could only see two flashes. I assumed these were light submachine guns, because that's what APAC enforcers normally carry. I think these are APAC enforcers, but don't quote me on that. I designed these by looking at a bunch of different references. I also had a lot of trouble with her miniskirt. The one on the illustration was too cartoony, but luckily I found a lot of illustrations of girls in miniskirts riding bikes and scooters. After combining elements of several different concepts, I ended up with this, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. If you're wondering what she's wearing on her feet, these are just flat shoes with long, loose socks. Japanese schoolgirls sometimes wear these. So, that's basically it. Uh, by the way, I designed this in a way that it should be possible to mold this. The whole thing splits into 15 parts with sockets, so they can plug into each other. And uh, this is how I got into 3D sculpting. Not a bad beginning, I think. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Comment and critique is welcome, and I would really appreciate if you share this video. This would help the channel grow. This was Andre, better known on the forums as Duck21. Chill.